Welcome to our first podcast, Who Are We? We are the Binge Watchers Council, basically just a collective trio of nerds from different fandoms of the world who fell in mutual weirdness together as friends. What we do, we binge any show, movie, book, magazine, music, anything we can get our hands on. You name it, we've binged it. Pretty much we binge the things that we love, but since we pretty much love everything, we keep every base covered. Why you're here. Naturally, you find us hilarious and you want our reviews and opinions on everything. Or maybe you just want to know when your show is going to air next and we'll tell you everything you need to know about the upcoming month. Or maybe you click this podcast by accident, but I promise you won't regret it. There are three of us founding members, Dawn, like Dawn of the Dead, who we sometimes refer to as Donnie Darko just for fun, Joy, like spreading joy, and it's very fitting for her, and then there's me, Dom, not like Dawn of the Dead, but Dom, like Fast and the Furious. Let me caveat and say that I was born before the movies came out and have been called Dom since before the movies came out, so I'm sorry, you're going to have to get used to calling me Dom. Lucky for you... Each of us likes different genres, so we will have everything covered, at least everything we can think of. If you find something that we haven't mentioned, feel free to let us know, and we'll try to incorporate it. We've been friends for more than 10 years, and have been binging and reviewing things since the very beginning, even if it was just to ourselves. We've decided to share those reviews with all of you because sometimes you want an opinion on something before you decide to waste your time. Mm, Well, I mean before you decide to watch it. Joy and Donnie Darko are lucky enough to be sister-in-laws, so they already knew each other. But me and Joy, we began our friendship long ago with Harry Potter. That's right. That's how our friendship began. Harry Potter. Two of us working for a company that shall not be named, and one day I wasn't paying attention and left my ringer on the cell phone. Very unprofessional, I know, and I have yet to do it since. Well, my ringtone was, and still is, the Harry Potter theme song. As the true nerd that I am, I will go ahead and call the song by its rightful name of Hedwig's Theme. Joy heard it and immediately asked me about it, and we've pretty much been talking about Harry Potter and everything else since. You'll hear us talk about Harry Potter a lot, but to be honest, you'll hear us talk about a lot of fandoms in general since those are our people. We know this is a short podcast here today, but we want to get our introductions out of the way so that we can start our reviews. Are you ready? Get set. Go. If you aren't talking about Bridgerton, are you even living in 2021? Seriously, you need to binge this immediately. Why? For the plot, of course. Okay, okay, yes, the plot is great, and I hear the books are even better, but the cast? The cast is everything. What this show is not lacking? is love scenes. They decided the more the merrier with those scenes, and let me tell you, I'm not complaining one bit. Speaking of love scenes, let's get to the first and hottest character out of the way, Simon Bassett. His character, he's the emotionally unavailable bad boy, so naturally he's the one every woman falls in love with. Will there be a woman worthy enough to tame him? That's for us to know and you to find out if you haven't seen it yet. The actor playing Simon, Reggae Jean Page, where has he been all my life? You may recognize him from the miniseries Roots or in the legal drama For the People. Well, I know him from Bridgerton and I will never forget him. Another personal favorite and seems to be a fan favorite across the internet is the character Penelope Featherington. She is the most relatable to the audience. Unless, of course, you're the smoking hot bad guy in the room. Penelope is the girl who goes unnoticed, okay, so she's not the most beautiful and not the fittest, but hey, that's exactly who we are, hence the relatability. She doesn't want to be the center of attention, and she'd rather be reading than going to the ball. Of course, there's a boy she falls in love with, and he doesn't really notice her that way. We all know how that is, you know, the best friend. Anyways, Daphne Bridgerton, the leading female of the show, is a good casting too. She's pretty and perfect and exactly what you envision and expect for a debutante. When you listen to the narrator, doesn't she sound familiar? She should. It's Julie Andrews. And in my opinion, if it has her stamp of approval, then who are we to disagree? I love Julie Andrews and her voice is perfect as the narrator. This storyline is so intriguing and the whole time you're trying to find out who is Lady Whistledown. 
The thing is, at the end, you think you find out. But with all the twists and turns of the show, is she really revealed? Or is this yet another twist to make us think we know who she is? Either way, I can't wait until season two. And I'll definitely be buying the books immediately because I cannot wait to find out who she is. We are so excited that the movies are finally coming back out again in theaters. Grab your soda, your favorite theater snack, and get ready to go to the movies. Let's start with the movies coming out to theaters January 2021. The first movie we want to talk to you about is Shadow in the Cloud, which comes out Friday, January 1st to theaters and videos on demand. Chloe Grace Moetz and her fifth wave co-star Nick Robinson reunite for an old-fashioned kind of warfare, but they'll encounter circumstances that are just as strange. In this sci-fi popcorn flick starring Moets as a pilot, risking life and limb to transport top secret information during World War II. Shadow in the Cloud is already one of the best reviewed films of 2021, so you do not want to miss out on seeing this. The next movie is Pieces of a Woman, which comes out Thursday, January 7th to theaters and Netflix. Pieces of a Woman stars the Mission Impossible follow-up actress Vanessa Kirby as a young mother mourning a tragic loss over the course of a year. The Netflix original drama, which is also hitting theaters on the same day, stars Shia LaBeouf as Kirby's husband and Academy Award winner Ellen Burstyn as her mother. It's good to see Shia LaBeouf doing any other projects, so I'm really excited to see him in this role. Let's see how he does. Next, we have The Reason I Jump, coming to theaters Friday, January 8th. Using the nonfiction book of the same name, The Reason I Jump is an in-depth, emotionally compelling examination of people all around the world with a form of autism that leaves them mute. I'm not sure, but it sounds like this might be something that we can compare to Bird Box. Let's see. If you're a fan of documentaries, this one's for you. A Casa My Home comes to theaters Friday, January 15th. It's a documentary profiling a group of children and their parents whose idyllic lifestyle in wilderness of Bucharest is interrupted, forcing them to adopt a new urban lifestyle. This might be able to relate to us in a way since we are adopting a new lifestyle during a pandemic. So let's watch out for this one and it might interest you to see it. Can you name this movie? I have a particular set of skills. I will find you and I will kill you. Taken, right? Okay, no, there's not another Taken out, although I probably would watch it if they did make another one. Liam Neeson stars in The Marksman coming out Friday, January 15th, and he is once again unleashing his own brand of justice in this title role. Our lovable action star plays an Arizona rancher, who uses his skills with a fireman to protect a Mexican boy from the cartel assassins who have chased him across the border. Again, he plays these roles well. I wouldn't doubt that this will be a good movie. We probably know how it will end, but that's okay. It won't stop us from watching. As our country continues to face difficult times, this next documentary seems right on time. MLK slash FBI coming to you January 15th. This is hitting theaters and video on demand at the appropriate time of Martin Luther King Jr. Day weekend. This documentary sheds light on Martin Luther King Jr.'s personal life through newly declassified federal records. It provides fascinating insight into the U.S. government's surveillance of the civil rights leader, as well as its additional covert attempts to silence social activists throughout history. Whether you agree with it or not, It's definitely a topic that has been on everyone's mind. So this documentary will shed some light on the past and maybe it will help our future. Want a taste of Floridian life from a different perspective? Check out this documentary. Some Kind of Heaven comes to theaters and video on demand Friday, January 15th. It attempts to figure out why the villages, the largest retirement community in the United States, is considered to be some kind of heaven. This is going to be a really interesting take on it. We're going to see the difference that they do there. And maybe this is something we all need to think about because retirement age is not too far off. Do you know what the land between Texas and Mexico is called? No man's land. 
With that being said, let's talk about No Man's Land, the movie. Coming to theaters and video on demand Friday, January 22nd, this is a Western thriller where a young Texan has a change of heart over his southern neighbors after a tragic mistake forces him to take refuge across the border. Again, this is another topic that has been very much in the news, and maybe this gives us a different perspective. Definitely worth watching. Next up, we have The White Tiger coming to theaters and Netflix on Friday, January 22nd. You may know her from The Matrix 4 or Quantico. Maybe you just know her as the woman who married Nick Jonas. Either way, Priyanka Chopra both stars in and executive produces this Netflix original crime dramedy based in her home country of India. Inspired by the best-selling novel, The White Tiger follows a chauffeur who rebels against his wealthy employers to escape a grisly fate and asserts himself to the top of the food chain. Is this something you might be interested in? Let's see. The first Warner Brothers film to be released simultaneously in theaters and on HBO Max in 2021 is The Little Things, coming to you Friday, January 29th. In The Little Things, it is pitting two Oscar winners against another Oscar winner in an intense game of cat and mouse. Denzel Washington and Rami Malek star as a pair of California cops tracking a serial killer played by Jared Leto. This crime thriller is definitely up my alley and I cannot wait to see this. As a huge scary movie fan, I cannot wait for this next one to come out. The Night, coming to you in theaters and on videos on demand, Friday, January 29th. A recently emigrated Iranian couple face an evil when they become trapped in a hotel by a mysterious presence that forces them to confront the darkness that separates them. From one of the producers of 2003's The Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake, The Night is an intense psychological horror flick that has already drawn comparisons to The Shining and Twin Peaks. I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing or not for them. To be compared to The Shining, which is such a great piece of work, I don't know that they'll be able to hold up to that standard. But I'm definitely going to see this and I'll let you know how close they get. Last but not least, we have Supernova, coming to theaters and video on demand Friday, January 29th. Supernova is destined to be one of the most moving romantic dramas of the year. It stars Oscar winner Colin Firth and Oscar nominee Stanley Tucci as longtime lovers traveling across England, devoted to spending as much time together as possible after one of them is diagnosed with early onset dementia. I don't know, but this kind of sounds a little bit like The Notebook. We'll see. This romantic film is just the break we need from everything we went through in 2020. So tell us, what are you excited to see 